we are afraid of being forgotten. They will offer us a nice casket, good eulogy, the night before we are buried. But after one week, we are replaced. After a few days, we are just remembered. And then they remember us on All Souls Day and nothing more. I'm afraid to grow old alone. And I'm also afraid to die alone. In fact, one of the purifying crises I had in the seminary as a seminarian was wrestling with the thought that I will live alone for the rest of my life. There is a fear in every priest. There is a fear in the parent of every priest. We do not like to die alone. We do not like to live alone. We do not like and we are afraid to get sick alone. It is a valid fear. The fear of being alone is universal. And as a seminarian, as a young man, I wanted to be a monk. And Thomas Merton was a favorite author. And what did Thomas Merton say about living alone? He said, living alone, that is hell of a life. And it worsened my fears because he taught me that living alone was hell. And indeed, it is. Because the Lord himself said in the first book of the Bible, seeing the first man, he said, it is not good for man to be alone. And here we are, celebrate priests, living alone. We are living the life that God himself said it is not good and yet we must live alone we will die alone we will get sick alone like Charles de Foucault who died alone in the desert and for the seminarians in philosophy like Soren Kierkegaard who was afraid of getting married, not because he was afraid of women, but because he was afraid to abandon his vocation to live alone. Soren Kierkegaard saw that living alone was a vocation in itself. And here we are celebrating life. We are alone, growing old alone, alone in sickness, alone in life. I am afraid of living alone. I am afraid of dying alone. I am afraid of getting sick in old age alone. But not only that. I am not only afraid of being alone. I am also afraid of being forgotten. I think it is understandable for masculine people to desire to be remembered. That is why men are advised, if you don't like to be forgotten, write a book, plant a tree, father a child. And I have no child. I will not have grandchildren who will carry my name, who will perpetuate Socrates Jr. I have none of that. I have written some books, but those books are out of print anymore. 
And even if I want to get a copy for myself, no one wants to buy, wants to print them anymore. I have planted many trees, but don't trees, those trees do not carry my name. There is the fear of being forgotten. There is the fear of being ignored. There is the fear of turning into vapor, not even ashes, but turning into vapor that cannot be seen anymore, that just mixes with the rest of the air that we breathe. I am afraid to die alone. I am afraid to die and be forgotten. And I am also afraid of losing control. I am afraid of losing control, not in the sense of being authoritarian. I am afraid of the time when I cannot even chew my own food. I cannot even go to the toilet by myself. When I cannot sign my name anymore, then I have lost control. It is not just about being control freaks. It is just about living a life that you know where your life is going. It is about planning the years and you know where the years will bring you. I am afraid of that day when I cannot eat, I cannot chew, and there will be a machine to help me breathe. And I will not be able to wash myself to shave myself, I will not be able to do the things that give me purpose and meaning in my life. And I speak about my fears, brother priests, because I know I am not alone. I know you're afraid of getting old and getting sick alone also. Of dying, and no one knows that you have died. We are afraid of being forgotten. They will offer us a nice casket, good eulogy, the night before we are buried. But after one week, we are replaced. After a few days, we are just remembered. And then, they remember us on All Souls Day and nothing more. The fear of being forgotten, the fear of losing control, the fear of getting sick, going old, alone. But our celebration is not depression. Our celebration is not about melancholy about our fears because when we are afraid to die alone and get sick alone the Lord opened his heart and said to us you can never be alone because my name is Emmanuel God with you God with us and when we are afraid to be forgotten Jesus teaches us that it is not our memory that will save us. It is those men who say, this is my body, do this in memory of me. It is these men who enter the memory of God day by day, who might be forgotten, who might fall out of, mem of the memory of men and women. But we, we are sacerdos in eternum. We are priests forever. And we will forever live, even if people forget us, we will forever live in the sweet, loving, merciful memory of God. And when we are afraid to lose control, when we cannot breathe, when we cannot eat anymore, when we cannot bathe and we cannot attend to our needs anymore, God says to us, I am the beginning I am the end. Did you not say to me when you were alive, I believe in God, the Father Almighty. 
all powerful and my power is not in my strength of muscles my power is not in my clear mind my power is not in my strong knees my power is the power of god god almighty god all powerful it is good to live recognizing our fears but as we recognize our fears let us recognize also the 365 days of the year the lord says to us do not be afraid i am with you do not be afraid i will never forget you do not be afraid i am almighty and my power is enough for you